Hey guys, it's Trina Bellamide. I am here to give you more songwriting tips. This time I have another interview and it is with one of our biggest artists in the country and that is why I'm so excited about this episode. But before I give you that interview, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the bell and the subscribe button below so that whenever I upload new content, you will be the first to know. And now on to our video this week. My guest for this week is a rock star, like literally a rock star. He is Rico Blanco. He was one of the founding members of a band called River Maya. He was their frontman, main songwriter, guitarist, keyboardist, you name it. He's been in film, on stage, he's been active with different advocacies, and he is also currently the president of Philscap. He is one of the most passionate people I know, and if you are a Rico Blanco fan, I think you will enjoy this interview because you will get a glimpse into how he thinks, how he creates his songs. If you're not a fan yet, after this video, you just might be. So guys, this is Rico Blanco. I am fortunate to be working with him in the Philscap Board of Trustees. Magkasama kaming naninilbihan sa ating mga songwriters. This alipin. Is, alipin ng mga songwriters. <laughs> this is Rico Blanco. Rico, thank Hello. you for doing this. You, this is such a big yeah. deal. This is basically advice, tips and advice yes, for yes. our songwriters. We gotta walk our talk. Tama, tama. So this is why... This it's nice to, to maybe I should welcome you to this space. Yes, diba? I know. Uh, I'm new. So I'm happy that you're doing this because I know you're going to do a great job and I'm going oh, to be watching all your episodes. Oh, thank uh, you. Um, and even, you know, if I talk about songwriting, you talk about songwriting, the perspectives will always be different. So if you're a songwriter, watch all of it. A lot of people ask about process maybe. Mm. Um, so maybe we can start with that. Is Do you have a particular way of writing your songs or has it changed or how how does it apply to some of your biggest hits? Yeah, I think I've been writing for quite a while now. Uh, more than half my life. So that's a pretty long time. So I think my process has evolved over the years. Um, I wrote my first song when I was maybe 13. And by 18, I was writing stuff like 214. And by 20, I was writing, you know, Awit ng Kabatan, Himala. If you ask me about my process these days, I just continuously write as a hobby. That's my radio. That's my Spotify. I can play music in my head. Mm -hmm. That's not anyone else's song. Yes. And just something new with just you know, instruments, I'm hearing like a beat or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's busy it's inside right. your head. It's it's not busy because it's playing in the back of my head even when I'm thinking of something else. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, the brain is an amazing thing. Like, I'm trying to solve something and then like, parang, but why is there still a beat, you know? Do you set deadlines for yourself? Um, does creativity have Yo, a deadline? Yeah, when I, have, when I have projects, I put deadlines. I, I really... I put limitations, hindi lang deadlines, all sorts of things like Galactic Fiestamatic for that album I said, okay, I'm gonna do everything alone. Not just by myself, but alone. No inputs from anyone. Um, and then I can't use guitars. And then I have to keep within a small range lang. These are self-imposed. Self-imposed. What was the reason for putting all these parameters? Um, to make things fun. And exciting for, for me, yeah, like where do I go, diba? Like, mm. oh, where do I go? Okay, you're gonna fuse tribal, uh, ah. Atian music and electronic music, okay? And then you add these rules. Thing that works in rock and roll, diba? I dissected it in that album. Why does the, why do people use the crash and boss? I analyze it. Ah, okay, tension release. It puts them to a new space yes. every time it happens. The stereo spread is, you know, or like, shh, yes. it's like unclear things and then it fades into clarity again. So, yes, Okay, yes. so there's distortion in that part and then it becomes clear. Yes. And that new noise distortion 
will so I just replace it. Oh, okay, what did you replace? So for it some with? sometimes I would just it will just be simple. Everything is mono in the verse, mm. and there's like a screech which replaces the drum fill. Drum yes. fill is just the drummer stopping and. And then, so you lose the beat for a split second, and then, and then you, recover. you recover. Yeah, yeah. So, so I would put in a car <laughs> car screech that I stretched the audio. So, I, and then in pagpasok ng chorus, from a mono field of whatever the synth Ooh. was doing, it becomes stereo, and you don't need the crash. Yeah, you may release, and then like it's like whoa, it's just it's just to differentiate one part from another. Wow, so, you so you actually went through the process of saying of thinking yeah. what the purpose was. Yeah, because ang goal ko yung makikinig sa galactic customatic, he wouldn't know that I was doing these experiments. Yeah, he would just say, "Oh, nice song." Yes, I, I didn't want to call attention to myself. Now, oh, he did that. Yes. he did not use this. And this was why. Yeah, and I came into the band scene in the '90s and distortion, kami pang chorus, yes. full. Tapos pag verse. Uh, very Nirvana, the mm -hmm. no? yeah. And which, which became a habit, good or bad, it became a habit. <laughs> and I why? And then I analyzed, okay, the bigness of rock. Wala pala sa mm -hmm. It's the space, the perceived space. Mm -hmm. So I put a lot of reverb on the snare. Yeah. You can have a ukulele, it still be rocking. <laughs> because the space is the same, it uh, achieves <sighs> the same effect. <sighs> it's like a crowd. Yeah, and that uh, that that delay, delay. Uh, that the reverb has some noise mm -hmm. qualities to yes. it. That, that 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 in your head it's chaotic. It's rock. Yeah, yeah. That thing we okay. You're gonna write songs for two weeks, one song a day, and uh -huh. then choose ten songs from that experiment. Take a snapshot, record it within two weeks. And and, yeah, and, yeah. and in that in Gawi, Trina, I said, you're only allowed to use things that have been used in rock and roll. Baliktad yung ginawa ko. Yung isa, wala akong gagawing cliche. Ito naman, wala akong gagawing innovative. And yet, the product should still be sound fresh. Ito naman yung experiment. Is it because you like to challenge yourself? Definitely. That's, That's the game. Like, when I was young, and I, we weren't doing music. I was this kid, now wherever we go, my siblings and I, my cousins and I, we were never bored because I would create games. Creative people are hardly yeah. bored because if you, yeah, you your see. mind is always doing something. You can say that. I, I always say also that boredom is not in my vocabulary. I've always said it. I've never been bored. Diba? I am bored of something, so I move. Do something the, yeah, else. Something else. Uh, one of the campers was asking me, you know, we're in a songwriting camp. Yeah. And one of the campers was asking me, like, uh, how do you know what your sound is? Should you? And I said, like, I never thought about my sound. Mm. I thought each time I was trying to make something completely different from my old stuff. Oh. And then 10, 20 years later, people go, that's the Rico Blanco sound. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. what is that what sound? Is that? Oh, okay. Sabi ko, leave it for other people to figure out. Like, don't oh. be conscious. Of, I want to be conscious of my sound. Yeah, yeah. It, and it wasn't, oh, nga, no? it wasn't like, this will be my sound. So I was trying my hardest to not sound like my everything, anything I believe. Each time I try not to sound. That's kind of heartening for me because I always say, I was. Was I talking with a few other people saying because I've been writing songs for other people all my life if you ask me what my sound was for myself I wouldn't know how to answer that I don't even know what I want for myself but Same. So it's interesting because from what you're telling me I see very much an artist artist really? but at the same time you also say that in some ways you're a designer because you did work for an agency, yeah. work for a client. Yeah. Um, do you put on a different perspective or hat when you when you write for other people as opposed to yourself? I find it easier to write for other people because and the parameters. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, and they and I take my inspiration from. I can hear their voice. 
Yes. For many years, I could hear Bamboo's voice when I'm writing <laughs> yes. songs, no? And then all of a sudden, I had to write for myself, okay, what is my voice? Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, to this day, I don't know, I even have surveys Ito, oh. sa mga friends ko, which is ah. the, ano ba yung Rico Blanco voice na pinaka gusto niyo? Which song? Ako gusto ko yung nervyoso, mababa lang. Ako gusto ko yung sa Your Universe, yung yeah. parang The Cure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Oma, no? <laughs> tapos, um, ako gusto ko yung parang Lennon na uh, laseng na ano, sa ganito. <laughs> Eh, ako gusto kong nagpaparang U2, U2 ka or may David Bowie voice ka na uh, uh, yung baritone ko. <laughs> so I really... Oh nga, and, and that's just a result of just putting out things. And Stop. then sila na yung nag-decide ng kung ano yung voice mo, no? Mm. So s- sometimes I go when I'm writing, ini-imagine ko yung kanta ko tumutugtog sa radyo. Mm-hmm. And kung anong boses ko, para lang matapos ko yung kanta. Ah, yeah. Oo oh, nga, no? Parang ibu-view mo as a dif- kung yari parang different artist. Imagine ko, like, oh. Si ano yan? Mm. Mm-hmm. Parang matapos ko. Kasi nakakalito eh, pag sarili mo. And, and I don't particularly like the sound of my voice. Mm-hmm. So that's an extra challenge. Do have a range. Yeah. So with that range comes a problem of options. Like, okay. Ito lang yung... Saan ko susulat tong kantang to? Mm-hmm. Medyo wide yung range ko eh. Mm, okay. Na I go deep. No, 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 too like ah, <laughs> Like so. That gives you more, well, more you know, notes to play problem with. Problem, yeah. Because anything goes. Uh-oh. That's why I make rules. Ah, uh, that's why you said, I know. It's cool. Uh, that's no. interesting. <laughs> What's your advice? General advice or specific advice to new songwriters? Because there's so many yeah. that want to make it. Um, where do you start? What should you prioritize? Or how, how do you get to. Where you are. Gawa lang kayo ng gawa. Don't listen to anyone. Really, that's it. Really, that's I it. I mean, listen to people if it inspires you. Para magpatuloy ka. Like, pick up stuff. Kasi it's... Sometimes it validates something you're doing na pala. Nakakagana eh. Mm-hmm. Oh, pati pala sila ganun din. Yes. So, yeah, listen to that. I want to minimize the... Them reflecting so much on songwriting. When beginners ang kausap ko, diba? Yes. Wag mo na kayo mag-reflect about songwriting. Gumawa lang mo na kayo ng mga kanta. It's all I want to say. Like, just If make you're just songs. starting out, just then make just songs. Don't make analyze songs. your craft or where you are as a songwriter. Kasi baka analysis or paralysis. Or your destiny. Sometimes. Malayo pa. Uh-huh. Malayo pa. Mag-grow pa kayo. Mm-hmm. It's too early to judge your work. Yeah. You're still gonna get better exponentially with every new song you write. Kami dahil we've written a hundred songs or more, yung growth namin, malaki pa rin eh. Mm-hmm. Pero it's nothing like yung growth yes. na from song one to song two, mm-hmm. song two to three. Mm-hmm. So if you've lit- written less than 50 songs, keep writing. But that's why people go to school. You know, to become doctors, to become, I don't know, pilots, right. lawyers. They do it every day. They train, train, train. train, 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 train. You exercise that songwriting yeah, muscle. Pianists, Flexic. ballerinas, name it, basketball players. True. Because you can think in relation to other songs out there. Think about the mga nagsulat ng mga kanta out there now. Yun o, lang yun. Yun lang. O, tas tingin mo, side by side na yung kanta mo, makakakompete na sa kanila. I mean, you have to put in the work. Yes. And have the right attitude. Uh, and the right attitude for me is always be excited about writing because it's an opportunity to create. Makakaluwal ka ng something that sa world na mag exist na forever. You should be excited about that. Social mm. media is playing a bigger and bigger role nowadays. Yeah. I'd say if you're starting out, don't worry about that first. It's not for everyone, but if you're into it, and if you love the camera, if you love interacting with an audience, do it as early as you want. But it's not a must. It's It's not a must. You can just focus on your craft first. Great things will happen if you put in great sacrifices. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Rigo. Thank you. Bye. Bye. 
And there we have it, guys. I hope you liked that interview. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.